Disclaimer This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Hello and welcome to the sequel on Lachesis. In part 1, we have discussed some particulars and personality of Lachesis. For revisiting part 1 you can click on the tag appearing here. In this video we will start our discussion on Lachesis part 2. So let's commence our discussion with some more mental symptoms of Lachesis. In the part 1 we have seen that, being highly intuitive type, these individuals are often attracted to philosophical ideas, that is, there are religious affections. She thinks that, she is under control of some superhuman being, and has power to bless, or curse, even has command over others, and expects that others should obey her. Lachesis individual, are prone to intense feeling of jealousy. You are looking gorgeous. Intense jealousy leads to, intense anger, and hatred. Nice music. I don't think so. Anger of Lachesis is sudden and intense. They become furious, and revengeful, when crossed. The rage is renewed by touch. You should not behave like this. Lachesis people are egoistical. Pride is accompanied by a tendency to become angry when criticized. I want to throw a party today at home. No. Not today, maybe some other time. Another theme, running throughout the remedy picture is, an intolerance of restriction. Lachesis people get angry, at being restricted. One of the prominent feature of mental symptomatology of Lachesis is, suspiciousness. The patient may begin to question, the motives of others, more and more, and to suspects that, they are against her. What are you doing? Today, I will cook for you. Why he wants to cook today? Is he going to give me poison? The patient loses all perspective of reality. She develops fear of being poisoned and delusions of being pursued. She becomes melancholic, sad, and depressed. Has no desire, at all to mix with the world, does not wish to attend to business, but wants to be off somewhere all the time. There is great apathy, extraordinary weakness of memory, and confusion, imbecility, and loss of every mental faculty. She develops religious insanity. Feels, she is full of wickedness, and has committed some serious, and unpardonable sin, and crime, that she is going to die, and will go to hell. Let's now discuss, the particular symptoms part 2. We will commence with stomach symptoms. There is craving for alcohol, oysters, and aversion to food, acids, and drinks. Any food causes distress. Hungry, cannot wait for food. Gnawing pressure made better by eating, but returning in a few hours. Pit of stomach painful to touch. Perceptible trembling movement in the epigastric region. Empty swallowing more painful, than swallowing solids. Moving forward to abdomen. Liver region sensitive, cannot bear anything around waist. Great intolerance of tight clothing. Wants everything loose especially suitable to drunkards. Abdomen tympanitic, sensitive, painful. Now, comes the stool symptoms. Patient is constipated, offensive stool. Anus feels tight, as if nothing could go through it. Pain darting up the rectum every time he sneezes or coughs. Hemorrhage from bowels like charred straw, black particles. Hemorrhoids protrude, become constricted, purplish stitches in them on sneezing or coughing. Constant urging in rectum, not for stool. Symptoms of urinary organs includes. Pressure on bladder, with urgency to urinate, or with cuttings and burnings in abdomen. Frequent want to urinate, with copious emission even in night. 
violent pain, as if a ball were rolling about in bladder, and from there into urethra. Involuntary and unnoticed emission of urine. Urine turbid and brown, or red, or deep yellow, and sometimes with frequent but scanty emission, or with brown and sandy or red or brick colored sediment. Lachesis has a special affinity for female genital organs. Acts especially well at beginning and close of menstruation. Menses at regular time, but are too short, and scanty. Blood is dark, watery and non-coagulable. All troubles are relieved by menstrual flow. Climacteric troubles, hot flushes and hot perspiration. Left ovary very painful and swollen, indurated. Coccyx and sacrum pain, especially on rising from sitting posture. Mamma inflamed, bluish. Please watch this video till the end. We have a quiz section, coming up. Let's proceed with respiratory complaints. Upper part of windpipe is very susceptible to touch. Sensation of suffocation and strangulation on lying down, particularly when anything is around throat, compels patient to spring from bed and rush for open window. Spasm of glottis, feels as if something ran from neck to larynx. Feels she must take a deep breath. Cough, <coughs> dry, suffocative fits, tickling. <coughs> Little secretion and much sensitiveness of larynx to touch, worse, pressure on larynx, after sleep, open air. Breathing almost stops on falling asleep. Sensation as of a plug which moves up and down, with a short cough. In heart complaints there is, constrictive feeling in chest with precordial pain, violent palpitation, and anxiety. Suffocation on lying down, must sit up. Palpitation, with fainting spells, during climacteric. Cyanosis with collapsed condition and cold sweat. The patient wants to be fanned, but slowly, and from a distance. In back region there is, pain in neck, worse cervical region. Sensation of threads stretched from back to arms, legs, eyes, etc. Neuralgia of coccyx, worse rising from sitting posture, must sit perfectly still. Let us now look at the extremities. Lameness and pain in shoulder joint with headache. Trembling and paralysis of hands. Sciatica, right side, better lying down. Pain in tibia. Shortening of tendons. Patient sleeps into an aggravation. Dreams of snake, of own death and funeral. Sudden starting when falling asleep. Sleepiness, yet cannot sleep. In case of skin complaints lachesis is indicated in, boils, carbuncles, ulcers, with intense pain and bluish, purple surroundings. Dark blisters. Bed sores, with black edges. Blue-black swellings. Senile, erysipelas. Small wounds bleed easily, gangrene and pyemic condition. Blood is dark, watery, offensive, and non-coagulable. Lachesis is indicated in intermittent fever, typhoid fever, etc. There is shivering, chill ascending the back. Dry heat accompanied by headache, delirium, insatiable thirst, sunken face, trembling tongue, rapid prostration and debility. Paroxysm return after acid food. Dry burning skin. Sensitiveness to touch. Perspiration cold, stains yellow red. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We would love to hear from you. Please share your feedback in the comments section of this video. Let us know which remedy would you like us to develop next. Quiz time now. Answers to quiz will follow shortly. Now, we will discuss the next part of this remedy, that is, its modalities. The complaints are aggravated during and after sleep, left side, heat in general, extremes of temperature, in spring, pressure or constriction, 
closing eyes, and alcohol. And the ameliorating factor is appearance of discharges. Lastly, comes the relations of this remedy. In case of relations, it is complementary to pepar sulf, lycopodium, and nitric acid. Antidotes are belladonna, mercurius, and nux vomica. Answers to the quiz. If you have found value in this innovative presentation to Materia Medica, please don't forget to like and share this video. Based on your suggestions, we have taken up phosphorus as the subject of our next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.